What is going on everybody, Jitvin here from falcongaming.net and today I'm going to be telling you about how to avoid the guitar error when running Petra's run on The Last Wish Raid in Destiny 2. But before I get into that, look at this clip. Just just look at it. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Come on, come on, come on. Everyone's done still. Back, back out, back out, back out. Run to chest. Just everyone stands still. Don't do anything. Return to us for the sake of plans to come. Come on. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> GG boys. All right. And that was how happy I was <laughs> after finally getting the triumph after being guitared about ten times. Uh, so if you're watching this video, it's probably because you've tried doing a Petra's run and you've been guitared. Or you're planning to do a Petra's run and you've heard a lot of bad things about the guitar error and you don't want to get it. So let's get right into it. What is the guitar error? Now Bungie's told us it is a memory related issue. Now your instance is being hosted on a Destiny 2 server and when there are too many entities on your instance the server crashes because the load is just too much for it to handle. Now, Bungie said that they're going to fix it. I I in March? In March? Nobody wants to wait till March? Oh, hell no! Now, if you're only missing Petra's run for your Ribbon's Bane uh, title, then, you know, you don't want to wait. L like me, I didn't want to wait. And I wanted to figure out how to get the tramp without getting it tarred. And I've gone through a bunch of solutions that were suggested on Reddit and through people in the Destiny 2 LFG community and I've done my own testing. I, at one point I even managed to get a fire team and log in every single day at a set time just to attempt Petra's run until we finally got it. Um, so I've picked seven of the most popular solutions that are floating around the community right now and I've debunked a couple of them, I'll tell you which one soon, and I found a couple that are almost guaranteed to work and at this point I believe I have a pretty strong understanding of what exactly you need to do to not get the guitar error and um, I, I'm saying almost because I haven't done enough Petros but I know for sure that these techniques will fail but if they do just let me know in the comments below but to the best of my knowledge at this point these are the solutions so number one remove in tracking emblems now straight off the bat I'm going to tell you guys that this is utter Bullshit. You don't need to remove tracking emblems. Uh, you'd, you'd want to avoid nightfall emblems because they can bug out the second encounter. But apart from that, pe I've had people run the raid with me with tracking emblems and not get guitar. All right, you don't you don't need to not have tracking emblems. But if you do want to play it safe, if you do want to have that uh, psychological itch out of your head. Uh, just use the level 50 emblems. It's it's fine, but it's completely up to you. If you want to feel better about yourself, if you want to feel safe when running the raid, just do it. On my Petra's run raid, everybody in my fire team had level 50 fire team emblems, um, but that was purely psychological. It, this this will not affect the guitar error. And moving on to number two, uh, the fire team leader has to be the one with the most RAM or the better connection. Uh, this is bullshit, again, a lot of people believe uh, it, because it's got to do with memory, you'd want to have a person who can handle that much. But, I mean, I remember, even before Destiny 2 was released, the lead engineers were talking about how their servers are going to be run, and they were all like, oh, it's a hybrid system, uh, most dedicated, and then, you know, there's a little bit on the client side as well. Uh, so, I can just tell you right now that this is bullshit as well. Uh, the de it's the Destiny servers that are, are having this issue. It's got nothing to do with the fire team leader or whoever created the instance. Because, um, I mean, if the fire team leader leaves, the instance is not affected because it's on a Destiny 2 dedicated server. Uh, but, of course, having a better connection is always a good thing because um, you don't want the fire team leader to randomly leave and <laughs> cause pandemonium. Uh, so, yeah, uh, two is bullshit. Let's move on to number three. Leaving and joining the fire team before starting Queen's Walk. Um, okay, some people say it worked, but I didn't do it on my Petra's run. I know a lot of other people who haven't done it on their Petra's run. Uh, what's the whole reason behind leaving and joining the fire team before starting Queen's Walk? Well, I don't know. The instance is still there. It's not hosted on the fire team leaders by the fire team leader. Uh, I don't get it. I don't get the theory behind it or the reasoning. 
and uh, a lot of people have done it without leaving and joining the fire team. So I wouldn't do this if I were you. I would not recommend it, even though everybody else in the community would recommend it. I would not recommend it. Don't don't do it. Don't do three. Uh, <laughs> so let's go on to number four. After the ribbon encounter, grab the heart immediately and book it. So if you're not doing three, that's what you have to do for four. Uh, I did it. I'm on a Petra's run. I know a lot of other people have done it on their Petra's run. And it seems to have worked some of the times. And I'll tell you why it only works some of the times. It's because of the next few solutions that I have to mention right now. Number five. Pick up all the ammo crates at Vault. Now, because this is a memory related issue, you want to reduce the server load as much as possible. The ammo crates are entities. You're an entity. Uh, the enemies are entities. So, before you enter uh, the Ribbon Encounter, you'd want to pick up all the ammo crates. And that makes sense. That makes sense. You'd want to pick up all the ammo crates. But um, here's another thing I don't understand if you kill an enemy and he drops an ammo crate, does that mean your teammate sees the exact same ammo crate? Now, I did mention before that the Destiny 2 engineers mentioned that this is some sort of hybrid technology that they're employing with their servers. So I'm just going to assume, don't take me word for word on this, I'm just going to assume that that entity is on your side. is It's on your client side. So I don't really see how that's going to affect the server load unless there's some sort of cross-networking that's happening. But this has been proven to actually work for some people. So... Pick up all the ammo crates at Walt. Um, and, I mean, since we're still on the topic of entities, uh, let's move on to solution number six. And that's not to use supers at Queen's Walk. You know, supers can use up a lot of processing power <laughs> when it comes to, you know, killing ads and all, you know, the bloom effects and um, entities you're creating, especially if you're running Dawn Blade or Blade Barrage or basically anything that's got a lot of a lot of um bling bling <laughs> to it and particle effects so we did not use supers at queen's walk as much as we really wanted to we did not use any supers at queen's walk um and there was another underlying reason to not do this and uh, i'm going to address this in problem num in, in solution number seven which is not to create orbs of light now when when we were when we finally did our final Petra's run before getting the triumph. We we thought, hey, um, if ammo crates are entities, then how about orbs of light? They're just as much of an entity as ammo crates are. And at the same time, if you create an orb of light, your teammates see it. It shows up on their side. So it doesn't mean it's 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 got more of a memory hit than ammo crates ever did. But I I mean I think so. So when we did the last uh two encounters, when we did uh, after picking up the ammo crates at Walt, when we did Riven, um, and when we did Queen's Walk, we did not employ supers, we did not use weapons with masterworks, and we used this bad boy. Yes, the Thundee. Now, the Thunderlord does not have a catalyst, so uh, we thought, hey, why why not? We'll just, it's good for ad clear. Uh, you can use any weapon you want, by the way, that doesn't have a masterwork catalyst, as long as you don't create orbs of light. And this, this, this solution worked pretty well we're pretty good and um at this point i've come to believe that the, the solutions you still see on the screen that are not grayed out are the things that you would want to employ when doing a petros run um uh, feel free to let me know in the comments if these don't work or if there's any issues uh it's part of the destiny community to understand and <laughs> come up with solutions uh through trial and error uh as you saw with myobi labs that was a clusterfuck but it really brought the community together. Um, and yeah, th those solutions are what you want to follow. Uh, don't forget that there are other tips and tricks that you can employ when running Petras uh, that do not affect the guitar era, like Alt f 4 If you're falling to your death, then rejoining the fire team after the successful completion of an encounter. Um, and uh, another thing, not and collecting all the uh, cleansing orbs at the Queen's Walk encounter just before you get teleported into the loot room because if not you get bugged out and you get um, creeping darkness causing you to die just before the raid actually completes and getting you, you can try wood getting physics at the end by not staying near the heart when the animations are occurring and running straight into the loot room because um, 
I know a couple people who got booped into a wall after being teleported into the loot room uh, and not wiping the entire squad. So just play it safe uh, and follow these solutions. Leave a subscribe if you found this helpful or if this helped you. Uh, like share if you if you feel like doing a Petros run and you have a fry team that does not want to listen to you. Uh, the main reason I made this video was because nobody else has addressed these solutions in detail. Um, and yeah, uh, big shout out to my fire team <laughs> that helped me get Petra's run. Uh, the full video is up on Twitch. I might put it up on YouTube. And as you can see, it's sped forward uh, by 20, by like 200% on the bottom right of the screen. And I'll leave you with that. Hope you enjoyed. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>